Now, we've already seen two deals worth more than £100 million, and we wait to see what will happen with Harry Kane. But a move for Kylian Mbappe this window would surely blow all those deals out of the water. Uh, he and the PSG owner, Nasser al Khalafi uh, came face-to-face -face yesterday for the first time since the striker revealed he wants to leave for free next summer. So let's find out what happened. As you can see, I'm coming face to face with our chief reporter, Carve Solakal. Uh, Carve, hopefully you, you, you won't give me the same treatment that, that Mbappe got. What can you tell us? Uh, yes, uh, as you said, Nasser Al Khalifi and uh, Kylian Mbappe came face to face yesterday, but there was no private meeting. Uh, the PSG president decided that he thought there was no point in having a private meeting uh, with Mbappe. What was actually significant is that he did have. Uh, personal meetings with PSG's six summer signings. So players like Milan Skriniar, players like Luca Hernandez, players like Manuel Ugart, they were all welcomed personally to PSG uh, by the president. But as far as Mbappe was concerned, he just had to sit there and listen to Nasser al Khalifi's speech about his vision for next season and his vision for uh, the new PSG. And as far as Mbappe is concerned, He's got this deadline of July the 31st. He has to tell PSG what he wants to do. Either he's going to extend his contract or PSG is saying you will be sold next month. OK, um, so he had this discussion with the new signings privately and, and then addressed the rest of the squad. What did he have to say? Interesting, actually, because the speech uh, was in a mix of English and French because I think a lot of the new signings, a lot of the new arrivals at PSG don't speak French yet. And what the president told them is, this is the last time I will be making a speech in a mix of English and French, because the first thing you will need to do is learn to speak French, because from now on, I will only be speaking French to you. Uh, the speech was very uncompromising. Uh, he basically said to the players, you have to play for the badge. If you don't want to be here, if you don't want to play for PSG, fine, leave now. Don't waste our time. We've built you this uh, new training ground, cost us 250 million pounds, one of the best training grounds in the world. You're being given everything to succeed. There can't be any excuses anymore. Uh, things have got to change. This is a new uh, PSG. And he also told the players, that Luis Enrique is the boss. What he says goes. He is the one who makes the ultimate decisions. So basically, don't come knocking on my door and trying to undermine the new head coach. From now on, he is the boss. Oh, so they're, they're getting tough and taking a stance here. Cracking the whip. PSG. Look into your crystal ball, Carve, because I know you got one. Um, what does this all mean for Mbappe? Is, is your feeling that he will go in this win? And if so, is the sky the limit on, on how much it, a, a club would have to pay for him? Uh, uh, from PSG's point of view, it's simple. He's got until July the 31st. He either has to extend his contract or sign a new contract or he will be sold. From Mbappe's point of view, he can dig his heels in because he's still got another year left on his contract, he can't really be sold against his will. If he wants, he can still stay at PSG. But what he has to take into account is the reaction of the supporters. Also, the reaction of PSG. For instance, would they carry on picking him? Uh, would he play at all if he uh, refuses to extend his contract? I think, you know, it would be difficult for PSG not to pick him because of... Uh, FIFA rules, players have rights. But I think in the past, when players have fallen out with PSG, they have been sidelined and they haven't played. So I think he has to make up his mind. His dream scenario is that he stays at PSG for another year, picks up his wages, I think about £2 million a week, picks up his loyalty bonus. I think in total he would get around £170 million from PSG if he stays for another year. And then next summer he can go to Real Madrid, get a massive signing on fee, get massive wages because he'd be moving on a free transfer. But PSG is saying that is not going to happen. We're not going to let that happen. We have spent so much money on you. We've invested so much money in you. Transfer fees, wages, loyalty bonuses, signing on bonuses... We're not going to let you go for nothing. 
Watch this space. Carve, thank you very much indeed.